Hi Capricorn, I will be throwing out four cards and seeing what your ex has been up to, how they're feeling and what's just been generally um, occurring for them since your you know, relationship ended um, and if there's possibility for the two of you to come back. Guys, Capricorn, let's have a look at your ex. Case of the ex, Capricorn. Okay, the three of pentacles, eight of wands, king of swords, and the knight of swords. Okay, the three of pentacles, the three of pentacles is negotiation, it's bargaining, it's talking, it's figuring out what's happening. <clears throat> For a lot of you Capricorns, I feel like you're going to be meeting up with an ex and talking to them about the relationship face to face. Um, for some, you could be, you could work with an ex, you could be affiliated in some way where you see each other, you have to see each other face to face. There's definitely a meeting coming up for the ex though. This could be with you, um, because this is pentacles, you rule pentacles. So there could be, there could be a, um, sort of like a bumping into each other type of scenario, or they're going on a date. They're definitely communicating with a lot of people. And if it's not you, then it's other people around you. They've got people that are interested in them. Um, they could potentially be having a work uh, romance or someone at work who is interested in them. Uh, there's all the signs here, like well, in terms of elements. So I really can't pinpoint a sign. But the Three of Pentacles is, if you see, he's sort of negotiating. He's talking about himself. He's showing off the product. Um, this could even be job interviews. You might find out that your ex is undergoing job interviews, but I feel as though it's people that are, this person is networking. Your ex is really getting out and about. He's communicating or she's communicating with a lot of different people, with work, you know, with creative pursuits, whatever, but it's exposing this person to um, a lot of different people. But again, it could be you. There could be talks of um, meeting up and having dinner together, meeting up and having lunch, meeting up to just talk. And find out what's what's happening between the two of you and if there's a possibility for a future um, there's negotiating I feel like it's compromising I feel like it's coming together bargaining with each other seeing what you can offer and what they can offer um, and maybe what steps you're willing to take to help ensure this relationship will work or what steps they're willing to take um, to see um, if this relationship would work with the three of Pentacles Your ex does have the Eight of Wands though. Eight of Wands is synchronicity, it's communication. So if it's not you um, that's going to reach out and be communicating with them, then it's them communicating with you or communicating with someone. Um, I feel like they're receiving a lot of signs from the universe and whether it's signs that remind them of you or signs that are telling them to move on or signs that are telling them that going on the right path or the wrong path, um, there's definitely signs and synchronicity for them. I also feel like that this is action and movement. So there could be uh, progress in terms of mending relationships for some of you. So there's a possibility of coming back and rekindling a romance or, you know, re giving uh, a, a, your relationship a second go or a third or fourth or fifth go or eighth go even. Um, but with the eight of ones, this is all about movement, progress, things coming to fruition. There's a lot of, you see, it's almost like the arrows of love. So if it's not you, then it's definitely someone else that's communicating with them and showing a lot of interest. And it's like a lot of texts are coming in, a lot of emails. This person is very persistent to pursue your ex. It could be you or it could be someone else that's um, aligning with your ex, talking with them, communicating with them. And it's I could be, it could also be a lot of dates. I feel like there's a lot of steps to take, a lot of it could be a lot of dates, it could be a lot of people that are communicating with them. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but there's definitely a lot of um talk and communication because they do have the king and the knight of swords. And for some, I feel like there's an important conversation coming up. The king of swords is a very important figure in speech. This could be at work. They might have an important work presentation coming up. But if I have a look in the terms of the scenario of the context of this reading, I feel as though there's a conversation, a very important conversation taking place. So it's either with you and your um, 
with you and your ex or it's your ex having an important conversation with someone brand new about becoming potentially becoming exclusive with them but for some I feel like there's a really strong um, there's a real strong inkling of your ex to either account for their actions account for themselves to really get off their chest what they're needing to say to ask for you back the king of swords is someone that's very articulate um, very charming, very charismatic. It has a lot to say though. This person is definitely wanting to speak their mind, definitely wants to have a really, really important conversation with you or someone new that's potentially around them. Or this could just indicate they are talking to a lot, a lot of people. There's a lot of people potentially showing interest. There's a lot of people wanting to talk to them, wanting to text them, wanting to email them, wanting to communicate to them via social media. Um... Or someone is going to initiate, you might hear of your ex and they will want to initiate and have this really um, important conversation with you. Now they also have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is someone that acts on impulse, that acts really quickly. There could be something happening around your ex where something is going to be unfolding really quickly around them. And it's without, I feel it's not necessarily deliberate. I feel like this is just going to be either sprung upon them. This could be you. You might even reach out and want to have this serious conversation. It's going to be really, you know, sprung up on them and they're going to say things and not really, you know, it's sort of a contradiction because the King of Swords is very methodical and very articulate and very deliberate in his speech and his words. Yet the Knight of Swords is someone that just blurts things out, acts on impulse, doesn't really think before they speak. They just act. They act on emotion. They act on their mental state. So there could be, I feel like, a bit of, you know, up and down um, communication potentially with your ex if you are communicating with them or there's a lot of, there's, there's, um, there's progress and then it stops. Progress and then it sort of stops. It holds. Um, there could also be a bit of spiteful words that may be exchanged. Just a warning, it won't apply for all of you, but the Knight of Swords is often someone that acts on impulse. This could be someone else gaining their attention, you know, wanting to attract them and they sort of tend to fall they could fall in this pattern where they're just carried along and before they know it they're ready in a new relationship whether they're ready for this person or not um or there's there's something that this ex had did has done or did to you that was really impulsive and just not very well uh thought through and maybe this is what you're meeting up to talk about maybe this is what they want to explain with the Knight of Swords being here. Um, swords are um, our thoughts though in our communication. So it could be that they're thinking up a lot of scenarios. I feel like they're reminded of you. They're thinking of you. They're thinking of what they would say if they saw you. If you're not intending to meet up with this person. Then I feel like on their mind there's definitely a lot of words they said or they didn't say. Um, and they're just thinking about either how they would account for their actions or how and what they would say had they, you know, if they had the chance to see you. But And for a lot of you, I feel like this relationship might have happened really quickly or might have moved way too quickly than they were ready for. Um, maybe when it came to all these important things, they thought they were ready and these milestones, but they actually weren't. They actually rushed into them for a lot of you, not for all. You know, maybe there was lack of compromise and then needs, you need to come back together and try and compromise as well. Try and rekindle what once was. It's definitely an important conversation um, or an important date or an important catch up that's coming up for them. It could very well be with you or it could be with someone else. Some you will definitely be coming back together because of this important conversation. I feel like it's meant for you. There's still a few steps that need to happen. There's a turn of events that need to happen before you can come back together and rekindle, as I said, what something that once was. But I hope this has been insightful for you. Thank you again so much for joining me, for supporting my channel, for viewing. It really does mean a lot.